items, uh, what's in my inventory, and in my vault. I don't know how long this is going to take. It's probably going to be a two-parter. I have my PS4 set to 30 minutes. So let's go ahead and get into it. So uh, of course the Zala Supercell. This is the second exotic I ever got uh, from Xur. I think it was in the third week of the Tank King. I was so fucking excited. Uh, I think the first one I got was the Hawkmoon. I think that was the second week of Xur or first one of those two. Uh, and I was so fucking excited to get this thing. Um, I used it for a long time and it was an amazing weapon. Uh, and it still is. It's a great weapon. Um, next we have the Taluna SR4. Now my dumbass got rid of the Hung Jury SR4. So this is the best thing to come close to it. Um, I got the Spark IS6 sight. A couple other ones that are pretty good. Uh, triple Tap, Extended Mag, Firefly. That is the exact same god roll for the Hung Jury SR4. Way, way back. I'm not sure if it has the same exact stats. But it pretty much is the exact same thing. Um, without that bitchin' ass um, camo. Now, unfortunately, you can no longer require, or acquire the Hung Jury SR4, which really fucking sucks. I wish you could, uh, considering that they brought back a ton of different weapons uh, at the end of the game, but um, it is what it is, I guess. So, moving on next is the Fatebringer Adept. Um, I never got the regular Fatebringer. Still don't have it, unfortunately. Uh, but the gun's really good. I mean, it is really, really solid. Uh, my favorite exotic in this entire game, weapon-wise, being Bad Juju. I absolutely adore this weapon. Of course, it came back in Destiny 2. I don't really know which one's better. Um, I, I don't know. Both of these are fantastic. Uh, just tons upon tons of super energy. Uh, I mean, it is, it is an M for sure. Vision of Confluence, fantastic gun. Back when scout rifles were really dominant in PvE, they were really, really good back uh, in Destiny 1, and I wish they were still that way. I wish um, scout rifles were, were as good as they are in Destiny 1 um, and Destiny 2 right now. I, I wish they, I hope they do buff them up a little bit. Um, Steel Medulla is next. Um, yeah, it's a really nice pulse rifle. This is probably my favorite pulse rifle next to Smite of Moraine uh, in terms of legendary guns. I mean, it is it is so fucking stable. Um, you can go ahead and put on handweight stock to get it to max stability. Uh, and at that point, the gun is just like a fucking laser beam. I mean, this gun is absolutely incredible. I don't think I ever got the Adept version. Uh, but this gun is amazing. Also, this is back when we had uh, the weapons had really cool perks. You would get uh, exclusive perks in the raid. Uh, Whirlwind's Curse. This weapon, uh, it, it does bonus damage against Fallen and grants you ability, uh, you know, better agility when this weapon's equipped. It has full auto and sign of four. Winning three bursts on a target caused the fourth burst to do an extra damage. I mean, this gun overall is like, what else would you want in a pulse rifle? It is absolutely amazing. Uh, and then, of course, we have the famous Harrowed Smite of Moraine. I love this gun so much. Um, it is just fucking awesome. Well, first of all, it looks fucking sick. This is probably the best-looking pulse rifle I've ever fucking seen. It looks amazing. In fact, the King's Fall weapons, I'm going to come out and say it straight up, are the best-looking weapons in Destiny history. They are absolutely stunning to look at. Um... Of course, we have bonus damage against taken enemies, which, um, in my opinion, we should be getting that same thing. We should be getting bonus damage against Vex inside of the Garden of Salvation raid, etc., etc. Uh, Winter Compensator, Accurate Ballistics, and Field Choke. Uh, definitely want to go Winter Compensator. I got Cocoon. This is auto loading holster. This is a King's Fall exclusive perk as well, Cocoon. Uh, life Support, which I really like. I think it's really, really underrated in this game. You could also get Firefly with it, which is obviously a better perk, but I really like this one because it's basically like a little mini Red Death. Whenever you get critically wounded, your kills have a chance to start regenerating health so it's really, really nice um of course we got the imago loop um i like this role a lot i got surrounded extended mag and firefly and then i also have quick draw as fast draw and steady hand um all these are really really good um but i really like quick draw personally i think it's a really really nice um one there but i love it because you know you got firefly you get extended mag and you got surrounded it's really, really nice um i would prefer outlaw in this slot but the reload speed is already pretty good so yeah like I said, I never got the Fate Bringer, so yeah. Uh, I got this g gun a few days ago, the Down and Doubt. Now, the range is really terrible, but I wanted this gun anyway because of the fact that I'm trying to collect a lot of Taken King guns right now. Um, so you got Quick Draw, you got Sir Shot, you got Luck, luck in the Chamber, Triple Tap. Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to end up, oh my god, <laughs> like no range at all. Single Point Sling, uh, Triple Tap, Luck in the Chamber, and then, I don't know, probably Sir Shot. Um, 
yeah, I love that one. Ex Machina or Ex Machina, whatever it's called. Uh, fantastic gun. Basically, whenever you load the weapon is empty, it'll actually give you four rounds instead of three. It's really, really good, and it also has spraying uh, spraying play, which is amazing, uh, increasing the re when the mag is empty, uh, which is actually an intrinsic thing now with the rapid fire frames, I believe, inside of Destiny 2. I wish they'd bring back spraying play, but uh, of course we have the famous icebreaker i really wish they'd bring this gun back in the game i know it would probably i don't know fuck up the crucible the crucible's already fucked up it's gonna be fucked up forever i don't know why people expect the crucible to be balanced it's never gonna be balanced i'm, I'm sorry but um the thing that made this so good was that it regenerated ammo over time and i believe that the rise of iron version of the Dom, uh, the icebreaker is actually perfect because it takes quite a while to be able to regenerate your ammo um, and with the ammo economy we have right now, uh, where you kill an enemy and you get some special ammo if they have a special weapon equipped, which most people do, um, I don't think this weapon would actually be that dominant. Um, but I love this gun a lot, and I wish they would bring it back. I really wish they would. It was so much fun to use. Uh, I got the Quantoplasm from the Wrath of the Machine raid. Um, I ended up reacquiring this thing, but basically, um, kills with the weapon grant a brief bonus to the sprint's top speed, and you're also going to get increased armor during that duration. Stolen Will. My favorite looking shotgun of all time. Uh, it's literally a taken shotgun. I wish they'd bring back more taken weapons, uh, more taken looking weapons in the game. Uh, anyway, we got smooth ballistics, field choke, aggressive ballistics. Um, I honestly, I don't really know. I think probably smooth ballistics would give that better a better range. Uh, we got rescue mag, which is just going to refill the weapons magazine chance when critically wounded. Uh, reinforced barrel, obviously going to want to go to get that to get that increased range and performance bonus. I love this right here. Kills the weapon have a chance to get bonus reserve ammo. I really like that one. And um, yeah, moving on, we have the but not forgotten. This is from the. Um, I believe the Archon's Forge, and I really, really like this role. I got linear compensator for that better recoil. Um, I got injection mold, hand weight stock if I wanted to. Speed reload, single point sling. And we also got triple tap on here. Firefly's not very good, but we got triple tap. I really, really like this gun. It looks really cool. It sounds really cool. And, um, yeah. Next up is the famous shotgun, the Found Verdict. This shotgun is really, really good. It looks like shit, like all the Volta Glass weapons do, but it's really nice. You got a lot of range on it, quite a bit of range, actually. Um, you got full auto. You got send it. Uh, full send it, boys. And then we have final round, which is amazing. Love that shotgun a lot. Um, I do like the Swordbreaker a little bit better, though. Uh, Event Horizon. This is a god roll on the Event Horizon. I got solar damage, I got short gaze, triple tap, casket mag, and hidden hand. And I think the best archetype of sniper rifles at the end of Destiny uh, Destiny 1 was this super high impact um, sniper rifle. I think this is the 72 rate of fire now, I believe, uh, inside of Destiny 2. But uh, yeah, it's just really nice. We got casket mag and triple tap. Um, which is going to make me, I think, shoot six rounds in total if I land on precision shots. And then we also have Hidden Hand. Um, really, really nice. Yeah, six shots in total. Hidden Hand, uh, just get that better target acquisition. It's really, really good. Havoc Pigeons that are shit. I don't even know why I have them in here. Hunger Crota, my favorite legendary rocket launcher. I absolutely adore this thing. It has everything that I want in a rocket launcher. It has a great blast radius, uh, great velocity. It's got... Cluster bombs. I mean, it is absolutely perfect, um, and I absolutely love this weapon. In fact, I'm gonna go and put that on. Um, it's just a really awesome weapon, and it looks really cool. Now, you would think that they would use the reflex sight up here. I don't even know why that sight is up there. It looks like a sight. I don't know why it's up there, but you you, you know you use this sight. So, um, yeah. Moving uh, up is the Song of Eru. I'm not going to talk about this gun. I just have it for Arkburn, really. The Iron Gowerhorn. Uh, I have this gun just to flex that I pre-ordered the game. <laughs> for the Rise of Iron. Uh, but, yeah, obviously the Gowerhorn is crazy popular. We got tracking, speed reload. Um, you got soft launch. I mean, all sorts of good shit here. Uh, and then you have wolf pack rounds. You know, it's going to split into tracking cluster missiles. Uh, Gowerhorn is the, probably the most famous exotic in Destiny history. I mean, it is... So, so amazing. Even with the year free version, I mean, it's it's incredible. Um, moving on, uh, we have the If Materia from uh, the Raft of the Machine. Triple tap perk is activated, and extra bullets is transferred from your reserves to the magazine. Very, very nice. Uh, Harold Quilm's Terminus, my favorite machine gun in the game. I absolutely adore this thing. It's probably my most used heavy weapon of all time. I mean, I had this thing on throughout the entirety of Taken King pretty much ever since I got it and pretty much throughout the entirety of Rise of Iron. I mean, this weapon is so fucking awesome. I love it. 
Um, you got linear compensator for that better recoil direction. Cocoon, which is amazing. Extended mag, lightweight. Small bore, but it's going to be good on the 35. You want that extended mag. And you got Life Leech. This weapon heals a small amount of and starts health regeneration. Now, machine guns in this game are very, very different than the Destiny 2 machine guns. The Destiny 1 machine guns were a lot better against bosses, but this weapon only holds like 92 rounds by default, where in Destiny 2, it's going to hold somewhere around 200 rounds. So, Destiny 2 is a lot more for ad clear rather than boss damage, but this gun uh, is definitely a bit better at boss damage. But... Um, I love the way this gun looks. I think that's like the main reason for me to love it so much. It's just because it looks so fucking badass. The Herald weapons just look amazing. Uh, we have the Hezen Vengeance, I think it's called. Uh, it, it's incredible. It has Merv Mini, which is literally cluster bombs. Um, we got Javelin. Uh, it's got insane blast radius and velocity and tripods. It's a really, really nice rocket launcher. Uh, not as good as a Hunger Crota, but it's, it's really, really nice. I like the tracking. Tracking on rocket launchers, I love them a lot because I could just kind of spray and play with it. Um, of course, I have all three exotic swords. I think one of them is in my vault. Dark Drinker and Raid Slider, so fucking amazing. Um, I wish that they would bring these uh, these swords back. Uh, and I know the uppercut is in the game right now, but I think what they should do is make the uppercut just do a living shitload of damage. Um, these guns did amazing amounts of damage. Dark Drinker is my favorite because of its ad control capabilities. I mean, it was absolutely fucking crazy. Um, and yeah, we have the Titanium Orchid. I have this mainly for Arc Burn. I never really use this besides uh, Arc Burn. You got Tracking, Javelin, Flared Magwell. I mean, this is back when you had two rounds in the magazine. Uh, and also, it looks fucking sick. I mean, it looks really cool. And yeah, that's it for my vault, or that's it for my inventory. Time to go into the vault now. My vault is completely full. I am having a crisis when it comes to um, keeping weapons in my vault. I don't know what the fuck to do. Uh, and yeah, uh, Cirrus DIS 43. I really like this gun. I got near max stability. I got full auto. It's really, really nice. I do have a better gun than this, though. Better uh, DIS. I think I have the DIS 47. Uh, we got some guns here. I have some year one weapons. Uh, I have the Vestian Dynasty, Herb Benevolence, uh, got the uh, Crota Fusion, got the Word of Crota, you know, some Adept weapons in here, the Sword Breaker, this is a duplicate, I have a fully upgraded Sword Breaker, I think, in here, uh, if Materia duplicate, a lot of these are in Fusion uh, Fuel, um, most of these are, actually, uh, the Distant Star, which I think has the exact same sound as the Night Watch in Destiny 2, Lingering Song, really, really nice uh, one there, it's got great range to it, Word of Crota, again, this is the upgraded one I have. Year 1 Service Regime, which looks almost exactly like the Destiny 2 version, which is nice. They made it look very, very similar. Uh, you got the PDX-45, baby. I have a gun that's actually very, very similar to this inside of Destiny 2 being the last perdition. Uh, but this gun, I think, had a higher rate of fire. Um, or I think the the uh, other one has a higher rate of fire than this one. Or a slower rate of fire. Um, you got speed reload, full auto, perfect balance, SLO 19. I mean, this is a fucking god roll. I love this gun. In fact, I'm actually going to go and pull it out of the vault. I want to use it later. Um, and we're going to go ahead and just empty one into here so I can have a uh, better look. Let's go ahead and put in the Vision of Confluence. Um, okay, moving on. Um, pretty much nothing's over here that's good, I'm assuming, right? Yeah, uh, the Sound and Fury Rocket Launcher from the Wrath of the Machine. I do like the Hunger Crud a lot better, so I never really use this thing. Uh, Zeal Vector, I have a fully upgraded one, I think. Her Memory, uh, I, yeah, this gun's decent. I don't know, I don't like Focus Fire, so any auto rifle that has Focus Fire, I automatically just kind of shove it in for Infusion Fuel. Seven Cents, uh, okay, roll. I don't like Firefly on Snipers. Uh, Infanteria, once again... Uh, thousand yard stare. I think this is the role you get from um, the Vanguard. I think when you do, when you complete the uh, the Tank King campaign, or it's part of the Tank King campaign. Uh, you have the long view here. You got triple tap. You got speed reload. Casket mag. Casket mag is probably the way to go. And you got spray and play. Really, really awesome role. Uh, it's a great gun. I'm pretty. If that is the go, if that is the one, it's a really awesome um, sniper rifle to begin with. Uh, does not bow fucking hell. I remember when I first got this gun. It wasn't this one. It was during the Ten King. I made a video and I was fucking yelling my ass off. I was so excited. It had a trash roll, but I was excited because it looked really cool. It was a strike gun. I really wanted it. And yeah. Palindrome. I think this is the god roll? I don't even remember to be honest. I just bought the, this one. I never played PvP, so. Telesto. Oh my fuck. I love this gun so much. Uh, it's so good in Voidburn. Um, 
Smite, Smite Marine Adept. It is literally just a Smite Marine, but an Adept version. I never use these Adept guns, though, because I don't like using exotics in my primary slot just to have uh, an, a burn. I just don't like that. Um, Queen uh, Queer Breaker's Bow. It is literally just a Queen Breaker's Bow. It's basically like a better version um, of the Destiny 2 version. I don't like how it, it's in a heavy slot in Destiny 2. Um, same thing of uh, Whisper of the Worm. I wish they'd move those over to the special. But the thing that makes this gun so special um, is that it has a bow in it. <laughs> and people were legitimately – I remember seeing comments like people legitimately wondering why did they take the bow out of Queen Breakers and forsake it. And I was just sitting back like, are you fucking stupid? It's because they have bows. Like, <laughs> like this isn't a bow, you know? Um, anyway, uh, Bullcaster is the arc uh, sword. Um, these swords are actually pretty hard to get. Um and yeah, they're awesome though. I loved getting these swords. Uh, we got the good old Kavas stuff, the OG Kavas stuff. I only use this whenever I want to have fun and just go in and just f rape everything, man. Uh, I don't even know why I have this, but I'm just going to keep it anyway. It's a white weapon. Uh, it looks kind of cool, actually. I kind of like the way this gun looks. And uh, <laughs> probably shouldn't even have that in here. Last word in case if I ever want to go do uh, PvP, which um, is Destiny 1's ending state of PvP is absolute fucking garbage. Um, so yeah. Fabian strategy. Um, I really like this gun. This is the uh, back. This is back when they had the exclusive weapons uh, to each class, which they should definitely bring back because I really, really like that system. Uh, but you got the Fabian strategy here. Kills the weapon. Grant, uh, it has crowd control, which is literally rampage, but it doesn't stack. Uh, and you got increased handling, stability, rate of fire when enemies are close. Kills automatically roll at a portion of the mag. Uh, it's really, really awesome. It's a great auto rifle for those titans out there. Uh, and yeah, I mean, Titans love all the rifles because they're brain dead. Uh, War Macrota, Adept, you know, you got the Song of Your Ute, you got other shit. Uh, you got the Mida Multi Tool, you got the Thorn. I got this thing within the first. Ah! Fucked in my throat in the first couple. Ah! <coughs> first couple weeks of Destiny Rise of Iron. Seros ARI 45. What an awesome gun this is. I really, really enjoy it. Hand weight stock. Perfect balance. Counterbalance. SPO 57. I mean, absolutely fantastic auto rifle. It has such great stability. And yeah, this is back when uh, people actually went for like stability rolls for a lot of stuff. People wanted great stability instead of getting going for like Rampage and Swashbuck or Multi-Kill Clip, all that shit. All right. We have to switch pages every time. I forgot about that. Uh, the Devil You Know. I have Grenadier and Surrounded. I love this gun for PvE. So much fun. The Comedian. These are just Infusion Fuel. Uh, the Good Old Hawksaw. Uh, I think this is the God Roll that they sold once. Uh, Perfect Balance, Rodeo, and Handweight Stock. I think that this is the God Roll that they sold once. Um, I could be wrong, though. I don't really remember. Um... Oh, I forgot you can't use your D-pad. Um, okay, uh, we got the Arc Edge uh, sword here. We got the Comedian LDR. Uh, I have a God Roll LDR somewhere. Um, another X Machina, Apple Discord. Uh, this is the Warlock exclusive fusion rifle. Uh, not like the others. Uh, this one's a really nice hidden hand and crowd control. Occam's Razor, you got uh, full auto and you have... Um, Performance bonus. I really like this gun. It's like my go-to, one of my go-to PVE uh, out here with Third Eye and uh, Firefly. Really, really nice roll. Uh, the Deal Breaker with Feeding Frenzy and what is that perk? Um, Relentless Tracker. Okay. Um, you got the Byronic Hero with Mulligan and Relentless Tracker. Apple at Discord with I don't even fucking know. Ether Nova. This is the Graphic Machine uh, Fusion Rifle. Uh, this is just uh, Infusion Fuel. The Stolen Pride. Uh, this is from the Challenge of Elders, I think. Oh, no, this is from the uh, House of Wolves rank up packages. Um, the Cocutus SR4. This is basically the uh, super low rate of fire version of the Hung Jury. Uh, you got the Lightweight, Firefly, Triple Tap. Some awesome sights here as well. Uh, yeah. I don't like that gun, though, compared to the other one. Uh, not like the others with Hot Swap and... Fuck, what is that called? Underdog. There we go. Um, okay. Uh, where were we at? Oh, right there. Okay. Got the Whale with Outlaw and Reactive Reload, which is Kill Clip. 
Uh, bad Council with Rangefinder and Surrounded. Really nice one as well there. Disassembly required with Tracking and Spraying Play. We got the Treads Upon Stars, which was basically the Vision of Confluence in Year 2, but then kind of got rendered irrelevant when the Vision of Confluence came back. But I actually really like this gun. I might like, like it better in Vision of Confluence. I don't know. It's got Crowd Control and Outlaw. Really, really nice. Um, the Smolder with Spraying Play and Tripod. Uh, the Swarm with Crowd Control and Underdog. Uh, I think that's Underdog, at least. Um, and yeah, I, I really like the Swarm. Uh, you got the Bone Crusher, which was literally one of the worst weapons in this entire game. The stability on it was fucking garbage. I don't know why they decided to put such low stability on it. Uh, the Uzumi RR4. Uh, this is a super high rate of fire, low impact sniper rifle. These were probably the worst type of sniper rifle inside of this game. They were really fucking terrible. Uh, they didn't two-shot. They actually three-shotted to the body in Crucible. Um, and yeah, Bistifying Adept. Got the IS Luna with Grenadier and Last Man Standing, was it? Is that Last Man Standing? What is that called? Oh, Last Resort. Okay, I thought it was like Last something. Um, oh, we got the IS Luna. Oh, yeah, I already did that one. Overstole Edict. Uh, I need to actually fully upgrade that thing. The IS-47, here we go. This is it. This is my amazing Sky Rifle. Full auto, handweight stock, perfect balance. SO-19. Only thing I would prefer is having counter bounce right there, but it is incredible. I use this thing all the time. Uh, it is absolutely amazing. Got the Matador 64, the rangefinder and performance bonus. You can probably see a trend to be loving performance bonus. Uh, the Praetorian foil, foil. I love this gun along with the other one, the Warlock exclusive one. Um, it's really, really nice. You got the glass half full, and you got reactive reload. Now, fun fact, uh, this weapon was actually, um, insanely rare back in year one of, of Destiny 1. Uh, at least from my knowledge, it was fucking incredibly rare um, to get. So to see it, uh, you know, uh, be kind of not rare inside of Age of Triumph kind of sucked because I was wishing they would make it rare again just for, like, I guess uh, just for fun. Uh, I got the Deal Breaker here with Glass Half Full and Crowd Control. Um, yep. Uh, Baron's Ambition with Grenadier and Hip Fire. Um, I didn't even know I even had that world. That's actually fucking incredible. Um, Harrowed Silence of... I don't, know, I don't know. It's got uh, Surrounded and Cocoon. It's a great shotgun. I really enjoy it. Um, you got the Harrowed Doom of Kelkis, one of my favorite scout rifles of all time. Uh, actually, probably my favorite scout rifle inside of this game. I absolutely adore this gun. Uh, it is amazing. I absolutely love it. Uh, in fact, I'm going to take it. I'm going to put something back. I want to use this gun later. I'm going to just put it in down a doubt. Um... Oh my god, the amazing music's playing. The Talalak. Oh my god, I'm bringing this back too. I'm going to use this gun too. Oh, I totally forgot about that gun. Uh, the Talalak is the Warlock exclusive uh, Sky Rifle, which is fucking crazy. Um, we got the Herald of Defiance of Yasmin from the Taken King. Um, the guns that I have that have that little logo on the top right, the, the, the Hive logo there, uh, That these are the guns that I got during the Taken King. The ones with the Rise of Iron logo on it are the one I got during Age of Triumph. Um, Last Extremity with Fuck Me, I don't even know that one, and Firefly. Um, White of the Abyss, which is you know, one second we saw that early. The Genesis Chain Auto Rifle from the Wrath of the Machine Raid. Fan fucking tastic auto rifle. Uh, yeah, really, really awesome. It's probably the best auto rifle in the entire game for PvE. Uh, it's got Focus Firefly. When Focus Fire uh, Fire is active, precision kills cause the target to explode. It also has Focus Fire. Now, I mentioned previously I didn't like it, but having Firefly is really, really nice. The Panzer Ray Fusion Rifle from the Crucible inside of the Tank King. Uh, yeah, I love this gun. I got this gun actually pretty recently. I uh, haven't used it, though. Apple of Discord with Crowd Control and Range Finder. Pretty good. Uh, the Zeal Vector, once again, this is the sidearm from the Raptor Machine, Telesto, again, Touch of Malice, I got this gun, uh, during the Taken King, it's amazing, uh, final round of the magazine, well, it's a really only good in the raid, actually, um, it's gonna, you know, weaken, it's gonna take some of your health away, but it's also going to, um, do a lot more damage whenever you're at your final round, so essentially it's a moment of ammo, but, uh, that three rapid kills are going to return a portion of your health. So it wasn't that good, unfortunately. Uh, Genesis Chain Adept. We got the Hereafter Sniper Rifle. Um, very, very similar to the Halo Sniper Rifle at the time people were mentioning like that. Because of the fact that you can increase your scope zoom. Um, which is really cool. You get the crouch for it. Um, and yeah. The Sword Breaker. I mentioned this one earlier. Uh, Grenadier and Final Round. I'm going to buy this one back. I uh, got the Kvostov 7G0X. 
uh, incredible gun. Uh, I'm just kidding. This gun sucked. What a huge disappointment this gun was. It was touted to be the most customizable gun in the entire history of Destiny. All of us were like, holy fucking shit. This gun could be absolutely amazing. And it had some great ornaments too. Look at these ornaments. Really awesome ornaments. Um, but it ended up being really fucking trash. So modernized scope is like usually the one you wanted to use. Uh, automatic. Now we all thought when we saw burst fire and semi-auto that we could switch it on the fly and that it'll make the the have like the standard damage of the burst rifle and semi-auto. It didn't give you a whole lot more damage. There was literally no point to use burst fire and semi-auto. I remember hearing Planet Destiny saying, well, yeah, it should be that way. And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? It is literally going to make having burst fire and semi-auto useless. And that's what it did. It was fucking useless. Um, extended mag, counterbalance, and rangefinder. Counterbalance is really good. Also, extended mag is good. Now, I remember making a video uh, when this gun came out. Very good. Um, not really. Uh, 450 RPM and 900 RPM. This is actually kind of cool. You could switch it. Uh, I liked using 900 in Crucible and using 450 in PVE. Uh, and yeah, the gun overall sucked. It was very, very disappointing to see that. Um, and yeah, the Zarnea D here with glass half full, which is high impact reserves by the way now, and uh, crowd control. Yeah, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Got the 40 round mag. It's a nice high rate of fire. I think this is the 600 rounds per minute now. And yeah. Red Death, famous weapon. Uh, the Crimson is basically in the shadow of this gun. Um, you have each kill heals you and also speeds up your reload and has unflinching. Amazing gun. It is amazing for survivability. If you suck dick at this game, you want to use the Red Death. It's incredible. Um, and answering Cord, I was really shocked to see. This is a trash roll. It's not even worth going over. But they showed this gun inside of the Shadow Keep um, Vidox. And I was so excited. We're getting the answering Cord back. But they fucked, like, where is it? Where is the answering cord? They never brought it back. It was in the fucking Vidox and shit. And I was like, is this like a fucking dumbass placeholder or some shit? Why is that in the game? But it's not actually in the game. It was like, what the fuck is this shit? It was so stupid. Um, hopefully they're going to bring it back next season. I think they might have been saving it because of the fact that there's no vendor refresh. I think probably it might come back next season. I don't really know. Uh, Vision of Confluence mentioned this one earlier, and I mentioned these ones earlier. There you go. There, that's my vault. Those are what my weapons. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead right now. I'm gonna go ahead and try out. I'm gonna go and run this setup. I'm gonna put back on that Tawa lock, and I'm gonna go to go patrol and just have a lot of fun with this setup. And um, yeah, it's gonna be it. I wonder what I have in here. Do I have anything good in here? No, I don't. Okay. Anyway, yeah. Peace.